my dear friends who are pursuing their BCA or MCA most of you have submitted your final year project already and some of you are just about to submit your BCA or MCA final year project the project viva is equally important as your project it carries lot of marks during the viva session you have to convince the examiner that you have significant role in the project i know most of the students have not prepared the project by themselves either they have purchased the project or somebody else have allowed to do the project on their behalf so those students who have minimum involvement in your final year project this viva session could be very crucial because students who have prepared the project by themselves they have very good concept about the project and they can answer the viva session without significant preparation but those students who have not prepared the project by themselves they had to do lot of homework to clear the viva session they have to go through certain questions and prepare proper answer of those either they will fail to convince the examiner that they have certain role in the project which they have submitted for the final year so my dear friend let not allow the examiner to realize that you have minimum or zero involvement of the project which you have submitted so let us go through certain important questions which could be asked during the viva session so the introduction of the software the project the software which you have prepared you have to give basic information about that what could be the information so um, the project or the software introduction include the information regarding your project which you have submitted if you have uh, prepared the e-commerce portal then what could be the information it is a web application it should be hosted in web server or the local server and it should be accessed by the user who will be doing purchase of several goods and service items and all products should be displayed with the information and price user can select those product and they can order all those product which the user will order will be added to the card and after that they can go to the billing process and how everything will be processed these are included in the introduction of the software so you whatever project you have prepared you have to prepare this introduction and you have to answer convincingly and convince the examiner your involvement in this project and another important question goal of your software or the project which you have prepared so whatever project you have prepared it could be library management system or e-commerce portal or railway reservation system or online examination system so each and every project should have a proper goal or a proper aim to reach certain level so what is the goal of your project you have to explain let me give a example that if anybody have prepared online library management system then the goal of that particular software could be to eliminate the labor process and the time consumption of a particular management system uh, during the process of physical library management system lot of employee and uh, physical labor would have been involved to do all the process manually and lot of time which was consumed during the execution and implementation of the process let us uh, say when uh, a student go in the library and ask for a particular book it is required to check uh, physically that if that particular book is exist in the library so there are thousands and thousands of book in self of the library how will it be possible to find a particular book from the library 
it has to be checked from the register book that if that book is already been given to some other student or that book is returned during the time or not so all these thing ha uh, has to be checked manually through the registered book and uh, it also ha need to be searched uh, in the self so all this process would have taken enough time but if that process would have been converted in online library management system student can check all the process sitting at their home if a student would have required any book then sitting at home they can check out on a particular portal whether that book is available or not how long will it take to return that book if somebody else have taken that book when that particular uh, candidate would have return that particular book in the library so that the next student would have able that the management team also find easy to check everything systematically without being added extra labor effort uh, in physical mode so this could be the goal of the library management system to eliminate the time consumption and the, the physical labor also could have been reduced by online mode of library management system so whatever project you have prepared there are certain goals which you have to work out uh, let us move to the next question selection of the particular project or a selection of uh, the intended software so whatever software you have developed and why you have developed that particular software you could have developed some other project or some other topics as your final year project submission you have to explain the reason let us assume anybody would have uh, developed a online hotel booking system then what could be the answer of this particular question if this will be asked by the examiner that you might have developed this online hotel management system so that all the customer sitting at home can book a seat uh, at the hotel they need not require to reach the physically to that particular place during any uh, ceremony or during any specific festival there could be gathering and in spite of reaching they are physically uh, need required to uh, stay for a long time to avoid that gathering we have been moving to the pandemic situation we can avoid gathering by preparing this particular project people the customer who are willing to uh, enjoy the food of any particular hotel need not required to reach there physically they can find the availability of the seat sitting at home online and they can also book the same for enjoying all the food facility so they can avoid gathering so all these things are could be said for this particular answer that why you have selected this particular project so several project have several advantage so you, you have to highlight those advantages and you can uh, you can convince you can make the uh, examiner understand that why you have selected this project and what are the functional requirement of the software or of the particular project the functional requirement are the mandatory requirement of certain project those uh, certain requirement are expected out of that particular software had the software been asked to prepare by any officials or by any client what the client would have expected out of that particular software those are the functional requirements of the intended project so my dear friends let us take a example of the e-commerce portal if you would have been asked to develop the e-commerce portal for a certain um, bookstore so the bookstore owner would have certain requirement out of this particular software which you have prepared so what could be the requirements all the books and the books description and the price of the books should have been displayed on the online website so this is the basic requirement so this requirement you, you need to fulfill on behalf of the bookstall owner and all the bookstall uh, customer who will visit that particular website will be able to purchase and order book online and they can go through the billing section so these are the functional requirement which you have to add in the particular software these are the important and the mandatory features you have to apply these features on behalf of the bookstall owner so each and every software whatever software you people might have prepared 
have certain functional requirement those are mandatory requirement which you should implement in the project those requirement are expected out of the certain project or the software which you have prepared so those are the functional requirements now let us discuss about the non functional requirements of certain projects so the non functional requirements are not the functional requirements that means the non functional requirements are not the mandatory requirement for the project the client who have asked you to prepare certain project might not have told you to implement these features in your project so these are not directly related or directly intended out of the particular software but being a technical expert you could have added this feature into the project for the performance for enhancing better performance of the particular project so to increase the efficiency ability of the software you can implement certain uh, requirement uh, into the your projects so what could be the non functional requirement let us take an example of online web application or online website who sells grocery products so all the customer will will access that particular website and purchase and those grocery products from that grocery stores so the customer can access those products either from their computer or from the laptop or from the tablet or maybe their smartphone but this was not told to you by the grocery owner that uh, you have to prepare the web application for all kind of people who will be accessing that from any devices that was not known to the grocery store owner you being a expert being a technical expert you should know that that application should support all devices not only you will prepare that application which only support in the desktop mode it should support in desktop mode along with laptop smartphone and tablet mode so you also need to keep in mind and prepare that uh, particular web application in a responsive manner so that it can support in all devices so this is non functional requirement which was not told to you by the client the client I may not tell you certain thing being a technical expert you have to add those features uh, let take example that product images which uh, are displayed in the website so the product are presented in form of certain images and those images are heavy weight so if those images carry uh, heavy weight that will take enough loading time if any particular uh, website will take enough loading time so that will actually degrade the customer to so the user who are going to use that particular website who are trying to access that particular website will get bored if any website take enough time to load so you can reduce the loading time of a particular web application by reducing the weight of those images so you can reduce the size you can reduce the weight of the images of those product which are displayed in the web application and by doing same you can eliminate the loading time of a particular web application so that that particular uh, application will get loaded on the client browser easily with minimum time so that will encourage all the customer of that particular web application or the particular website to visit that website regularly so this are the non functional requirements which will not be told by the client you have to keep in mind and you can implement the, the same to increase and enhance the performance of the particular software feasibility study for the project so the feasibility study of the project or the software includes who are going to use your software and what are the requirement uh, what are the basic requirement uh that is required uh, for using that particular software so if any web application are to be accessed by people they need to have the internet facility so that is the feasibility criteria so anybody who have the internet a connection and a laptop or a desktop or a smartphone tablet whatever devices they are having with they can access the web application through the devices having internet connection so those are the feasibility criteria if you have prepared the website which only can be accessed over the desktop and laptop then the feasibility criteria are people who have desktop either or a laptop 
can access the particular web application through the internet connection. That means the other user who do not have desktop, laptop or they are having smartphone or tablet uh, will not able to access that particular application because the project which we have prepared are not supported in the, in the smartphone version or in the tablet version. So if certain project anybody have prepared then those are the feasibility criteria that this particular site is only accessible on desktop or laptop having internet connection or if you have prepared the project which will support all devices then the feasibility criteria should be internet connection having any devices could be accessed uh, this particular site or if you have prepared a project which is hosted in the local server so the feasibility criteria should be all the system that is connected with the local server can access that particular site so anybody who have a system and having certain ram it could be 2 gb ram or 1 gb ram or, or hard disk memory of 160 gb there could be a certain requirement so what are the requirement uh, of the hardware hardware requirement or the operating system requirement uh, you can prepare a software which support in uh, Linux environment might not support in Windows environment so you have to mention that that this particular software will be accessed on Linux environment so if anybody using Windows platform this particular project or this particular software would not have been accessed on the Windows environment so these are the feasibility criteria whatever project you have requirement you have to mention the feasibility where this project can be accessed what operating system what software uh, in which particular platform this could be accessed what are the hardware requirement of the particular device is there internet connection required or not all these thing falls under the feasibility study for the particular project data flow diagram so this is the technical question that will be asked by the examiner so if you have not prepared your project by yourself you have to study this if you don't know what is data flow diagram you must have given your examination so you should know what is data flow diagram if you don't know or you, if you have forgotten what is data flow diagram um, there are lots of youtube videos go and learn what is data flow diagram and understand the data flow diagram of your project if somebody else have prepared the project for you go and study the data flow diagram related to your project and understand perfectly because this is most important question because if you go wrong with this particular question the examiner will realize that you have minimum involvement or zero involvement in certain project this is one of the very most important question because this is technical question if you answer this question for with perfection then the examiner will realize that you have significant involvement in the project another technical question is ERD that is entity relationship diagram so whatever the entity relationship diagram presented in your project you have to understand that talk with your guide or talk with the person who have prepared the project on your behalf and understand the entity relationship diagram go to youtube videos understand the entity relationship diagram and study the same of your project and you have to practice the explanation in front of the mirror so that during the viva session without interruption you can explain this to the examiner because if you can convince the examiner by explaining clearly this entity relationship diagram the examiner will be convinced that uh, this particular project you have significant involvement in it and another is database design of the particular project so this is the third technical question and most important technical question so the table structure the table schema and the table relation what are the relation between primary key and foreign key of all the tables that you have created so these technical questions are most important this three technical questions will convince the examiner how much involvement you have in this particular project which you have submitted as your final year project so do lot of homework and prepare the answer for uh, these three following technical questions understand the same by talking with the guide who, who have prepared the project on your behalf so if anybody uh, who have uh, prepared the project by themselves 
can easily answer because they have very good concept while preparing the project everything is in their mind they don't have to face any hurdle those students who have prepared uh, the project by themselves or who have significant uh, role in this particular project those students will not face any problem during the viva session to clear these three technical answers but for those students who have minimal involvement in the project they have to do lot of hard work and lot of study uh, to understand these three questions because depending on these three technical questions your project viva marks is dependent actually um, this three technical questions will let the examiner understand that how much involvement you have in your project and the testing procedure of the particular software which you have developed so each and every software have certain limitations certain debug uh, certain error what could be the error each and every projects or each and every software are expected certain result for certain inputs so whatever input we give we expect certain result so by giving several inputs it should be tested out whether expected result are coming out or not at the beginning during the initial stages sometime it happens expected result are not coming out of certain inputs so those are the limitation which should be overcome by changing certain code of your software so you have to find out those debug those error of the software so how you have tested your software to find out certain error so those are the testing procedure there are certain testing tools available in in internet you can use those testing tools to go and test your software and find out those debug those error so the examiner will try to know that whatever uh, you have done to find out the debug the error of the particular software uh, there are no software in the world which is 100% errorless but you can eliminate the number of errors so by testing your software and find the error which comes out of the software the unexpected result which comes out of the particular software which you have prepared by combination of several input through any online tools or manually whatever you have done this thing is written in the project so if you have prepared the project by yourself you can answer this question very easily or if somebody else have done it for you you have to go and study the project report and understand the testing procedure which you, which had been implemented in the project or you can talk it to your guide the person which uh, who have uh, developed the project for you and get this answer because this is important question that will be asked by the examiner security mechanism of the particular project so as already have discussed there are certain limitation of each and every project so uh, how you have um, eliminate certain threads so that your project could be secured is there any procedure you have implemented in your project to eliminate the threads to ensure the security mechanism of your software if you have done so that is already explained in the project you have to explain the same uh, to the examiner so you can find this in your project report if you have not projected by yourself ask your guide what is the security mechanism of the project if certain thing is implemented or not or that means where this particular application is deployed or this particular application is hosted is there any antivirus install or uh, or any firewall install how you are going to secure the project from the hackers from the threats people are sitting in network and trying to peep out the data by uh, injection of several sql process so how you can restrict the same your project from the backlogs hackers so you have to answer and explain the thing uh, to the examiner now the questions come cost estimation of the particular project or the particular software so you have uh, prepared the project this is non commercial but assume you had prepared the project for a customer you should have make a bill or you should have expected certain remuneration out of this particular project so what could be the remuneration how many people are employed in that particular project let assume you and your guide have prepared the project that means two people are involved in this project so assume how much time you both have employed in this particular project how many hours you both have utilized and your effort for this particular project so you have to fix a particular rate per hour 
uh, for the persons who are employed so the rate per hour into the number of hours you both have employed and also at the rent of the computers you have used your own computers but had you been used a rented computers then what cost would have been added uh, you have uh, used your own accommodation you prepared the project at your home had you been prepared the project at in your office so what could be the rent of the office depending the time that you have utilized for the project so all these things are accountability for the cost estimation of certain software or certain project so you need not require to be accurate but the examiner will try to test out whether you have certain knowledge about the cost accountability of the project or not so you just have to mention the overhead of this thing and you know, make them understand the costing of the particular project you have prepared the project by yourself but had this project been commercially prepared and ha ha had you been expected some profit out of this project how you would have listed out all the heads item and rate your uh, value value of time value of the computer and electricity the accommodation to making the cost estimation of certain project all these things we have to explain to the examiner you did not require to be specific accurate but uh, you have to let the examiner know that that you have certain idea if you do business if you are employed and then you can do all these things so make them understand okay risk factor of the project what could be the risk factor of the project so as I told you already there's no software in the world at 100% secure there are certain risk factors your database could be hacked by the hackers there are several process hackers know they can hack uh, the most secure database the most secure website over the internet there are certain methodology they applied to hack the uh, various softwares you already have learned this in our uh, course during the period of three years so your software is not risk free so you have to explain this to the examiner there are certain risk factor that is it could be hacked over the internet you uh, your server is hosted in a particular system you already have installed antivirus you already have installed the firewall for protecting the server the hosted application but still there are certain risk factor it could be hacked over the network to so that uh, risk factor could not be eliminated there are no uh, software in the world which is 100% secured now comes limitation of the project so as I already have told you there should be limitation in your project what could be the limitation so there are no project already have told that 100% secure so security is the concern so that is also a limitation so your data could be hacked by the hackers the software could be corrupted during the execution so you need to keep certain backup so this could be the limitations and other limitations is that the reachability factor so whatever application you have prepared how could you reach that application to many number of users so unless you let people know about your application they are not going to use that so uh, let take an example that you have prepared a uh, uh, e-commerce portal for a particular garment shop so a garment owner are selling their garments online you have prepared a uh, e-commerce website for that garment owner so how will that particular uh, software or particular web application will reach to the number of people so that every people of from every uh, corner of the particular district or particular city can access that website and purchase the garment from the garment owner who so the disability factor is a limitation how will you let people know about the website about the particular software you have to do lot of marketing you have to do the advertisement on television so that take a lot of cost you might not have that many that much amount to do advertisement or the garment owner for whom you have prepared that particular website they must not have that heavy investment capabilities so how will you reach the, this particular website to uh, many number of users so that the customer can reach this website and can access the portal so that is the limitation you have to do marketing and marketing involves lot of money and you will be not able to reach that many numbers of people so that is the main limitations the reachability factor of a particular application future scope of the project so each and every project may or may not have certain future scope depending on the requirement so if you have any further requirement you can add those features to that particular software which you have developed so you have to think about 
that will you going to add some added features near future would you like to add something new to this particular software so for the time being we have prepared the software but will you going to update that particular software in your near future so if uh, there are certain possibility to add any further features or any further new process in that particular software you if if there are certain scope of adding those you can mention this thing uh, during the viva session or if you have decided that this project is already completed you are not going to add any certain features or there are not any possibility or not any scope to add any features you can also explain this to the examiner but you need to convince them with confidence so whatever you will say you need to say with full confidence so your confidence will earn the marks for you let not allow the examiner to realize that you have minimum involvement uh, in this project so your confidence your body language while answering all the questions will earn the marks for you during the viva session so thank you my dear friend for watching this video till the end and like this video if you think this video will be helpful to you and do not forget to subscribe this channel